Art doesn't always hang in galleries or sell for high prices at auctions. If well-thumbed, dog-eared magazine illustrations are any indication, one Toronto artist has the popularity contest sewn up. He's commercial artist James Hill. He's been illustrating covers and stories in magazines for over 30 years. Helen Hutchinson met Jim Hill recently, and tonight we take a look at his special talent. This portrait of Pierre Trudeau as Roman senator is probably one of the most memorable magazine covers ever published in Canada. And this cover portrait of controversial Toronto Maple Leafs owner Harold Ballard is more than just a caricature. They're both the work of James Hill, an artist who has had to live with the fact that an illustrator is almost an anonymous figure. The illustration as such has always suffered by that kind of anonymity, you know, even though you're seen by millions of people week by week in the magazines, you are not known really uh, as an artist, you know, with the general public or galleries. Even if his work doesn't hang in galleries, it has appeared in hundreds of magazines over the last three decades. Decades in which this Hamilton-born artist has become as much a part of Toronto as a streetcar. Yet it was American magazines like the Saturday Evening Post that spurred the young James Hill to become a commercial artist, a field he thought would be easy to break into. I had no idea that there were thousands, hundreds of thousands of other would-be illustrators or artists. You know, I figured, you know, maybe there were 10 of us in, <laughs> <laughs> in the world. <laughs> when did you decide it was going to be your career? Uh, when I was eight. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> and your parents said, yes, of course, Jim. <laughs> no, Dad prob probably said, well, why doesn't he look to uh, you know, getting a decent job? <laughs> but working as a commercial artist did produce a decent living and resulted in a remarkable collection of illustrations created with talent but inspired by Mozart. to do covers, but I, my real love was illustrating the short story. Uh, that's where the dreams were, the, the insights of uh, you know, people, events, and, and the real mystery that you can, about people that you can get into. So the words, the words trigger your imagination. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, I just love the the art form of the, of the short story. This illustrated collection of Oscar Wilde short stories is now a collector's item. Hill's unique contribution to the art of illustration is his ability to sum up a story in one painting. He perfected this craft while working for Maclean's magazine during the 50s. But after he won some awards in New York, the big American magazines came looking for him. I only learned uh, years later that uh, the magazines in New York had been looking for me to use me because I was bringing something a little bit different to, to magazine illustration. 
That's very funny. They were looking for you. Yeah, but McLean's would never give out my address <laughs> or phone number. <laughs> But the New York magazines did find his phone number. And even though most of his income came from the United States, he's always lived in Toronto. At the age of 51, James Hill is now known as the Dean of Canadian Illustrators, an accolade he's not completely happy with. I don't object all that much to it, but uh, what it implies is... Uh, that it's only the, you know, you've achieved something, which is fine. Uh, but usually it implies that, uh, that it's also come to an end, which I, that's the aspect of it that I don't like. It, it uh, just seems to center on that, uh, you know, that's it. Yeah, okay, do you want to show me your, uh, your piece there? James Hill is certainly not one to rest on his laurels. His work is much in demand, and he even finds time to pass on his skills to students at the Ontario College of Art. But for him, teaching is not just the study of a craft. It's more a question of challenging his students to bring out their creativity. What I do try and get across is, uh, you know, is that intuitive sense. I got really wound up one, uh, one morning and tried to relate it to, uh, to sex, and I really find painting a a sensual experience. And I went on for you know, almost the whole three hours of my class with this. And I have one charming <laughs> girl in the class who told me the next week she... I was not relating it at all to erotic art or, or anything like that. She said she went down, she lives out in the beaches, and she then went out and sat down on the beach and started doing an erotic drawing. And uh, people would come up, as they do, seeing artists sketch, and they would look at it, and they couldn't relate it to the landscape at all. <laughs> and they'd wander off, and uh, said, one guy came up, looked at it, and said, do you know James Hill? 